In this video, we're going to build a PDF simplifier. This AI application will take in a PDF document and provide a very succinct explanation of the key points and the conclusion. Here we tested with a fake HubSpot sales call, but now we're going to test it with an actual report on climate change. This report is 42 pages long, it's full of technical details, and it's surely not easy to understand for someone not in the field. Let's upload it in a new thread. Click on new thread and upload the PDF. As you can see, the AI scanned the PDF and it's now giving me a full summary of all the key points in a very easy format. This is something everyone can understand and makes it very easy to communicate complex topics across different teams. Now let's build it together. Click on the plus icon at the top left corner and create AI. You can start from scratch by generating a prompt with our Mind Studio prompt generator. Click on next and describe what the AI should do. As we just said, the AI should take the PDF and provide a simple explanation. So let's write the assistant, which is the AI, we can refer to the AI as the assistant, will help human, which is the user, summarize and simplify LE5 to specify explain like I'm five PDF documents on complex topics. Assistant will make every topic digestible by any audience. Click on generate and the My Studio prompt generator will get to work, generate the main prompt and name your application. You can always change the name of your application by clicking on the app name and changing it there. This is also where you can change the icons and the style and branding. Now let's go back to the main flow and let's navigate to automations. Let's zoom in a little bit. And for this AI, we only need one user input and one send message block. Let's click on the plus icon, user input and plus. Now let's create a new user input and the user input we want is a file upload. Let's click on upload file. We can call the variable file. Then the label text has to describe what you want the user to do here. And in our example, we want the user to upload a PDF file. So that's exactly what we should type in here. You can add emojis to this field as well. For example, let's add a file icon. If you want, you can set a featured image as well. We want the user to only be able to upload PDFs. You can do all extractable if you want to. And we want to extract the text. We don't want the file to simply be uploaded in the cloud and have a URL. We want to extract the text and provide the text to the AI for processing. Now let's go back to the main flow and add a send message block. This is where the prompt will actually live, where we are instructing the AI to do something based on the input we just collected. The prompt for this AI is very simple. It says, explain the content of this PDF in a digestible way. Output in Markdown. And then we need to pass in the content of the PDF. And the content of the PDF is stored in the variable PDF, the one we collected right here. So Mind Studio will extract the text from the PDF and will pass it to the AI right here. The last thing we need to do is change the model. By default, all Mind Studio applications start with GPT 3.5. This one is a good model, but for this particular use case, Clotri IQ or Clotri Sonnet might be better choices. The Clotri family is very good at writing and understanding of large corpus of data. GPT 3.5 and GPT 4 Turbo are better at something like coding. For now, let's select Claude 3 IQ. If that's not sufficient, being that this is the cheapest model in the family, we can upgrade to Claude 3 Sonnet, the next in line, or Claude 3 Opus, the state-of-the-art model in our platform. Let's keep Claude 3 IQ, and the temperature should be something around the middle. The temperature controls the amount of randomness in the model response. The closer to zero, the more each answer will resemble each other, given the same input. The closer to one, the more it will look like gibberish. This is also sometimes referred to as creativity. The higher this number, the more creative the AI will be, the lower, the more rational. 
then we can increase the maximum response size to 4096 tokens, which is approximately 3072 words. We are seeing one error here. Let's click on that to see what's going wrong. MindStudio is telling us the variable PDF is referenced but does not exist. That's actually correct. I copy pasted this from the previous AI where the name of the variable was PDF. The name of the variable now is not PDF, it's file. So MindStudio is correct. There is an error here and it's because this variable doesn't actually exist. So if we go back to send message, change this to file, the error will go away and the new save will go and override the previous one. Now let's click on publish and test it out. We will upload the same document as before and we will monitor what's happening from the debugger. As you can see, the user input is collecting the file and the file is uploaded to the cloud. Then the AI is generating the response and we will see the programmatic message here on the right. The debugger will show you the speed, this took 10.53 seconds, the sending message and the resolve message. The resolve message is the sending message but the variables are expanded. So the variable will actually be the content of the variable, not the variable name. So the content of the variable is the PDF. It's what we just extracted. Finally, you see the cost and the token usage. You don't see the cost in this instance because this is an admin account. On your account, you will see the cost for each interaction, either programmatic message or background message. You can also see this used quite a bit of tokens. We are using 32,226 tokens for this interaction. Clotri IQ is a very cheap model, especially for prompt tokens. So that's why you should use it when analyzing very large files like this one. Clotri Opus can be up to 20 times or even nearly 30 times more expensive than Clotri IQ. I really hope this helps and that this simple build is useful for your business. Talk to you soon and happy building.